What's this? Another whiteboard of knowledge? Red! Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of the whiteboard of knowledge. Today, we'll be covering, if my Russian doesn't fail me, we'll be covering the uh, pistolet Makarov. I just, the PM. Makarov PM. That's what it's called. Alright? The, uh, the person that designed this was literally, I shit you not, the guy is called Makarov. And for some reason, Modern Warfare does not have like an actual Makarov gun in the game. Why? I can hear you. I can hear your sweaty ass clicking. Stop playing Genshin Pang, you fucking loser. This is definitely not gonna appear. This is definitely gonna be more time. But anyways, today we'll be breaking down the Makarov. The one and only Makarov. What is this? Soviet handgun. What does Soviet handgun do? It goes boom and it does it really well. Alright, so let me explain uh, just by starting with the outer features, alright? So here the Makarov actually has a has a, a flip safety, so like, you just flick this down and, and uh, it allows you to fire. So this is your safety, if I can spell safety properly. So this is your safety, alright? And this little tab right here is your magazine release, alright? Now weirdly enough, alright, this is not a typical magazine release. So typically on the handgun, your magazine release is here. Uh, but this is what we call the European style magazine release, so it's just at the bottom right there. And you just press it and you just pull your mag out, alright? Now, since we're on the topic of the magazine, let's talk about uh, what the what the macro is chambered in. Now there's two calibers that can normally be found in. Um, you got 380 ACP. Or we have the Hold it, hold it. Check the script that I didn't write. Sorry, it's not 380 ACP. I have been informed by Wikipedia. Yes, Wikipedia. That it is actually 380 auto. So I got the cartridge name wrong. Do not yell at me in the comments. Or, it's also chambered in famously the 9x18mm Makarov cartridge. But Snexy, isn't it just a simple 9 milliliter round? No, you, no, you fucking chill. It's, act, it's actually a different caliber. Alright, it's different. It's 18. It's the normal. Than you, sh shut up. Shut up. No. Shut up. Shut up. It's stronger than you. Shut you up. Shut up. You can't say the channel. You can't say the channel on the channel. This, you are so dead. <laughs> The typical uh, 9 milliliter round that you might expect is actually uh, 9 by 19. So these are not equal. All right. So it's a different cartridge. It's a it's a smaller one. Shut up, child. All right. So it's a different cartridge, smaller round, um, uh, and it's. What was I gonna go? Okay. You know what? Screw the caliber, so it's a different caliber, different size and everything. Magazine release is here. This is your trigger, okay? So the Makarov is a, uh, the trigger is either double action or single action. So you see, when I press the trigger, uh, without racking the slide, it doesn't blink, it doesn't fire because what you have right here is your firing pin, uh, or, or rather your hammer. Okay, right hammer. This is just your hammer. Right. So what it means is that I have to I have to manually pull back this hammer. I have to bring it down, and then when I click press the trigger, it goes forward, thus igniting your cartridge and sending it out of the barrel. All right. So how does the whole barrel thing work? All right. So Makarov is operated by what we call um, pullback. So how does blowback work? Alright, so come with me here. So we got chamber. We got bullet. Okay. When the bullet shoot, there's gas here going both forwards and there is gas pushing the cartridge backwards. I want to make a joke about how it is here. Just that amount of gas pressure actually shifts the action back. Basically, farting. So, I swear to God! <laughs> no. Basically, the gas pressure uh, that is acting on the cartridge 
pulls it backwards. And that's why the slide goes back, thus resetting your hammer. Oh. Thus resetting your hammer. And then when you press the trigger again, it goes forward. Alright? So that's how rollback works. Resummarize. Cartridge go boom. Gas pushes cartridge out. Gas pressure pushes the bullet the cartridge back. Thus it moves your slide. Alright? And it resets your hammer. Then it goes forward again. And then the extractor kicks your cut your casing out. And that's how the blowback works. Alright? So it's a really simple mechanism, and that's why uh, a lot of pistols actually use the same idea of blowback. Alright? So the Makarov, just like the AK, has a huge legacy. It's uh it's actually it was actually deployed in 1951. So it was in use since 1951 to present day. Is that why it was called the Age of Fights? Please don't swear the fuck. <laughs> Alright, so there's multiple variants of the Makarov. So the first one is um, the Makarov PNM. Simply, it's a modernized Makarov. It's just the Makarov that's been modernized. Uh, it has a better muzzle velocity, and uh, yeah, it's just a modernized Makarov. So that's the Makarov PNM. But there's the Makarov PV. Now the Makarov PV is a whole different breed of Makarov. See, the Makarov PV is actually integrally suppressed. Alright. So how so what does he mean when it's integrity suppressed? Alright, well integrity means um well in case you can't tell it's inside. So the suppression, the sound suppression is actually inside of the barrel. Alright, and on top of that, there's also a place where you can attach a huge air suppressor. So it's not just integrity suppressed, you can actually add a suppressor on top. Alright? So what is our uh, so how does the suppression work? Well, suppress, suppression actually requires you to have a, a tight air seal, so you can regulate the gas, the gas flow. It really just pushes, the, I believe it pushes all the gas towards the front and not towards the back. I might, I'm, I might be wrong. Right? I might be wrong because uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shield, all right, and, and uh, I don't understand anything at all. Yeah, just like how you don't understand school. I swear. To this is not gonna get this is not gonna get monetized. <laughs> this is actually not gonna get monetized. So you yeah, got not even on monetized in the first place. Shut up, I will be! So we got the PV. After the PV, we have the Stetchkin. Right? Now Stetchkin is a different type of macro. Now Stetchkins are normally actually full auto. Yes, we have a full auto macro. Those are a thing. So a full auto Makarov, uh, it has a sear that allow that prevents the the, the firing pin from the hammer from being caught, and it just keeps on letting it go forward. So once it goes back, it goes forward again. It goes back forward. It goes back forward. All right. So that's how the full auto works. Roughly. I forgot to mention the the PV actually has a variant that has a stop. Yeah. Unlike in Modern Warfare, you can't put a you, there's no known variant on the back row with a with a huge drop mag on it. Uh, yeah, so don't believe Modern Warfare. Uh, I also don't think there's a there's a wooden stock for this thing. I mean, this thing was developed in 1951. By then, we would have already had a modern SMG, uh, more modern SMGs, and would have to rely on um, attachments given to a pistol to make it a bit more like a carbine. So uh, I don't think. Wooden stocks like this, that's just good. Not exist. That's not English. I'm an AK guy, I can't speak proper grammar. Bro. It means it, it is, it does not exist. Non existent. Yeah. No, does yeah. not exist makes no sense. I mean, so, is that a macro? 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 Yep. So, uh, the star here, this is basically like a big light grip. Make like grip basically. Uh, so going back to the manual operation, so this your bank. So this your grip. This your trigger. Press trigger, gun go boom. This here is your slide release. Alright. So basically, once you run out of all of your shooty shoots, alright, the slide locks back. It stays there. Only until you either re-wrap the whole thing or 
the uh, or when you press the slide release and then the spring finally just lets it go forward. So yes, there's a spring at the back and that's why it's able to go forward. Alright. Is that all? Did we cover everything about the microphone? It's that fast. Okay, absolutely brilliant. 